Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun, and today is Thursday. Let's do a little throwback, Married to Medicine. I'm watching season five. Let's get into it. So Contessa has thrown a 90s party because her nanny, Miss Renee, has cut the food at Mariah's Mother's Day celebration and just embarrassed her. Then she gets to the party and throws something at Contessa. They haven't heard from her because she says she has quit. Now, this situation right here, Mariah and the dentist have got into it because, you know, she talked about her mom. Simone kind of started the fight, child, and it started raining and the whole thing was over. So the dentist is in her feelings and she's talking to Jackie and she's saying that um, Mariah was being shady towards her when she gave Toya um, a gift, a trophy, and said that one thing about Toya, we've had our ups and downs, but she's never talked about my mother. Now, the dentist has talked about her mother, so I don't know why she's so upset. This is Emily. Do y'all remember Emily? She is Quad's friend. Like, Quad is confiding in her, and this woman is the wife of a doctor, and from my understanding, he's a very very big doctor in Atlanta. But after, I don't know if it's after this season or this episode, we've never seen Emily again. And where is this baby? This is the dentist's son. Where is he? Where are her children? i like to know that. Honey, this is Curtis's first time back at the house since Jackie has caught him cheating. Where does he get these ridiculous cars? It was everything for me when Curtis had to ring that doorbell. Like, Curtis can't even use the key at the house. He is outside ringing the doorbell. So he and Jackie began to have a conversation. Let's just listen to a little of it. You know, things don't fix the problem. It wasn't done to fix the problem. It was done to let you know that I'm thinking about you. <laughs> I mean, I, I miss you. I think about you all the time. I love you. I want my family. I want you. I know that's asking a lot right now under the circumstances, but I want to figure out a way to fix it. <laughs> How do you fix humiliation? That part. I know it's been hard on you. It's been hard all the way around. <laughs> Curtis has some nerve, right? It's been hard on all of us all around. Okay, Curtis, you might as well bring your lady in here and have this conversation. So Jackie lets Curtis know that right now, I'm not ready for all this. And you go back to wherever it is that you are and um, I'll be in touch. So Curtis has to leave. So Curtis has come back. Jackie let him come back for a minute. W what are these cars? Like, what is Curtis doing? Once again, Curtis is ringing the doorbell. He comes in, he gives Jackie a rose, and he also tells her that he'd like to have some dinner. So in this bag, he has dinner. As she charts. Okay. So Jackie is listening to what Curtis has to say and all of that as he prepares dinner. And she realizes that, you know, like, you're a part of my family and I need that part of my family. And I don't realize how much I need you when there are things even around the house that I need you for. This is about all Curtis is good for. Fix the light bulb, sir. Just fix the light bulb and be on your way. <laughs> Curtis had to leave too. Let's keep going. So this was the era when Cecil's job was laying people off. So, Cecil was running around here trying to find something to do to take up for what's going to happen when he gets laid off. The problem was Cecil took $25,000 out of the account without discussing it with Simone. Simone was like, you should have just told me. I didn't know you could have been taking money out for a woman. He was like, no, I wanted to do this because I think this will help in the capital. And she would let him know, like, Cecil, you're not in this alone. We are a team here. So... Eventually, Cecil got laid off. So, you know, this was the season of Contessa, right? Contessa and um, her husband are good on here, right? 
They have no problems. She and Scott are wonderful. They had a party trying to take up for Miss Renee. Miss Renee cut the food on them. Um, and then now, because of Miss Renee and her antics, they have to change up their schedule because they got to pick the kids up. So he goes to pick up Layla. She doesn't want her dad to pick her up. She wants Contessa, and she don't even want to go to swim practice because she want her mama to come. Contessa is devastated over here, and Scott was like, we got to figure something out. Now, these two right here, this is a mess. Uh, so, Quad and Gregory have, like, a group, like a marital group that they, I guess they meet with once a month. So, she's in the kitchen. Y'all, when Greg comes into the house, there is no hug. There is no pat on the bottom. There is no kiss on the cheek. Nothing. And Quad is so busy, she not even turning around to just initiate. Like, it's such a big disconnect. So as they are sitting here, as you can see with the couples, minus one, Greg has got a phone call and has walked out of the room. And Quad is like, I always knew that I would come second to his career. So they're trying to explain to her, you know, like, it must be hard, but you know, this is his job. So this look on Gregory's face when he got back, like Quad had run down a laundry list of things that he was not doing. She said that she doesn't feel protected. She doesn't feel respected. She doesn't feel um, considered. And at that point, he was like, she won't even tell me what it is that I've done or haven't done. So the, the other lady was in there. She was like, Quad, you need to be specific, right? So Quad is trying to be specific, but not. And Greg said, I'm just tired. Like, like all this is a lot for me. This, this is just a lot. You could see this coming a mile away for this couple right here. It was not going to work. All in all, this is Season 5, Episode 9, and it was really good. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to you later. Bye.